As you know, TradingView is the superior charting platform when it comes to trading. There's no debate, it is what it is. But if you're like me, someone who charts on TradingView and executes on NinjaTrader, it would be helpful if we had access to the same tools. That way we would only need one platform running. The bad news is, it's not possible, at least not 100%. The good news is, you can get really close. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. First off, TradingView lets you customize your charts beyond your wildest dreams. Purple bullish bars, yellow down close candles, and even emojis. You could literally make your charts look like the LA Lakers. Sadly, there's no emojis on NinjaTrader, but you can still customize the theme and colors in your charts just as you would on TradingView. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on this, you can check out my first video I uploaded. It's short, simple. I'll link the video down below so you can watch it after this. One of the good things about TradingView is how easy it is to use. You have a favorites bar where you can add tools and drawings that you plan on using the most. That way you won't have to you know, come over here and select it from this drop down menu. NinjaTrader makes you right click, scroll down to drawing tools and look through the mess of options they have. To solve this, you're going to want to scroll over to the indicators tab and search for drawing tool tile. Select it, then click add. After that, you can customize it however you want, how many rows, and most importantly, click the drawing tools and select which tools you want to display. Click apply and you're good to go. Pops up here, right here on the left, uh, top left corner of the screen. You could drag it anywhere you want, do whatever you want and you see it works perfectly as described. Also, this might not apply to everybody, but here's a quick tip. Come over to this sidebar where the prices are, right click, properties, and make sure your range is fixed because I had mine on automatic and this is what happened. Simply go into fixed, applying that fixes everything. You can add whatever indicator you want. A feature that I like to use for back testing is bar replay. It lets you go back in time and watch the market play out. On NinjaTrader, there's something almost exactly the same, if not better, called Market Replay. First thing you're going to want to do is select Tools, then scroll down and click Historical Data. Next, you want to scroll down to the bottom and select the Load tab. From there, you'll see a line that says Get Market Replay Data. Click it, select whatever instrument you want to get data on, I'll choose ES, select the date, and download. Once the selection isn't grayed out anymore, you're good to go. Also, you can download several days at a time if you want, but I'm just going to do one for the sake of the video. Next, you want to click the Connections tab and choose Playback Connection. Choose the dates you wanted and click Play. You can move forward and back in time by clicking and dragging this bar to whatever time you want. Also, you can change the speed and even place orders. Order filled. The reason why I say this is better than TradingView is because these candles print by the second, which helps you better prepare for real price movement. When you enter a trade on TradingView, you have these two little tabs pop up next to your entry, your take profit and your stop loss. You also have the ability to move it around freely and it shows you how much you're expected to win or lose if one of your targets hit. On NinjaTrader, this is called an ATM strategy. No, it's not some infinite money printing strategy. It actually stands for Advanced Trade Management. You can find this on the right side of the chart under your account name. You want to click it, select Custom, and create a strategy based on your needs. Now you have your order quantity here. You have your parameter type, which I leave in ticks, but you could go by price, pips, whatever you want. Stop loss right here. Let's just go, let's just say 20, which would be five points. And let's just do a one to one 20. Save it as a template, type it whatever you want. And you now have a bracket order. Some of y'all are thinking, Trading view is way better because I can see how much profit I'm going to make. <laughs> Check this out. Order filled. Yeah! 
What's amazing about TradingView is the amount of free indicators on this platform. It's even crazier that that number grows every single day. And did I mention they were free? VWAP isn't even installed on NinjaTrader unless you bought a license, so here's what I'm gonna tell you. Go down below and you'll find a link in the description to a website called Ninja Trader Ecosystem. No affiliates with this, I just found it from somebody from my Discord. Once you're here, just type in whatever you're looking for. Let's say VWAP. Also, make sure the indicator matches with whatever version of Ninja Trader you have. The indicator I showed earlier is called Order Line Decorator. Watch the video on how to import it and follow the steps. Now you're going to go to the top of the chart and select indicators. For me, it was the first one under Gemify. Double click it, then click order line decorator, then click add. You can customize the colors if you want, but it's pretty good as is. After that, click apply. Now when you enter with the bracket order, you'll see exactly how much you'll make when your targets hit. price changes, the amount you make or lose changes as you move it, and uh, you guys get the point. That's it for the video. Just wanted to give you all a few quick tips and tricks that you might not have known, or you might have known, or you might not have known, and you did, but you didn't, but don't, now you do, and things like that, you know. Anyways, I hope it helped. There will be links to my chart customization video, and also links for the indicators in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, comment if I should make more videos like this alongside my live trading videos, and subscribe to stay tuned. With that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one.